Hello everyone, welcome to this channel, my name is Ruben and today we are going to talk about the big ideas for MarketInvest from 2021 and this episode will be about part 10, delivery drones. So drones should reduce the cost to transport goods and people dramatically, lower battery costs and autonomous technology should power aerial drones. And Arc believes that in the not too distant future, these future drones will deliver our packages, food and people even quicker and more conveniently than ever before. And these drones, they are likely to transform our shopping behavior, reduce travel time and save lives. If you put it into numbers, the delivery platform will generate roughly 275 billion in delivery revenues, 50 billion in hardware sales and 12 billion in mapping revenue by 2030. Autonomous air travel has become possible and affordable. Battery technology is improving, enough so that flight energy reserves can meet regulations enabling air taxis and air ambulances to take the sky safely. In addition, machine learning improvements have enabled autonomous flight, reducing costs dramatically. Well, we have two graphs here. On the left, we have safe passenger drone range. Uh, on the x-axis, we have time and on the y-axis we have safe flight range in terms of miles and you can observe these purple dots that as of 2014 it has been increasing significantly and on the right we also have an additional graph looking at the cost of a 10 mile drone delivery so if you have to pilot this remotely the cost is seven dollars and 80 cents approximately but if you do it autonomously it's way way cheaper for like 25 dollar cents. One of the companies that is actually building an autonomous air taxi right now is Yang from China. Drones enable cost savings and convenience. In the past two years, the Federal Aviation Authority, also known as the FAA, has kick-started the commercial drone industry by allowing companies to operate drones beyond the line of sight and in some cases to operate drone airlines. And Florida right now is building the first United States passenger drone VertiPort with plans to operate in 2025. We also have four different kinds of scenarios. It's about the drone delivery costs at scale relative to the, to the competitor costs today. For all of the four scenarios we have on the x-axis time and on the y-axis we have cost. If we go to the top left we have pharmaceutical delivery slash pickup. Well the drone delivery is by far superior compared to the personal car to pharmacy and the mail order. If we go to the top right we have Orlando to Tampa. Uh, the theoretical EV toll, also known as the electrical vertical takeoff and landing, is a little bit more expensive compared to the personal car, but in terms of time, it's superior. Then we can go to the bottom right. We have parcel delivery, 5 LBS, 10 miles. Uh, they put in an Amazon Prime Air delivery drone. In terms of cost and time, it's superior. The bike career is, in terms of time, similar to the drone, but it's still more expensive. And then you have the FedEx one. It's a little bit more expensive than the drone, but it takes far more time. And lastly, we can go to the bottom left, a bridge inspection. And also here, the piloted drone is superior compared to a human. Unmanned food delivery is already used by a company called Yang in China.
drones could deliver is substantial share of e-commerce shipments by 2030. COVID-19 accelerated e-commerce experimentation and adoption with contactless drone deliveries. And ARC estimates that at some point during the next five years, drones will deliver more than 20% of parcel shipments. They also put this in a graph on the right. We start with global e-commerce share of retail with drones consisting of three colors. The first one is black, that is non-drone delivery. Purple is e-commerce delivered with a drone. And then we have green, that is the rest of retail. If you look at 2020, 82% is rest of retail. And e-commerce non-drone delivery is 18%. If you fast forward to 2030, then it looks totally different. Only 40% is rest of retail. E-commerce delivery with a drone is 40%. That's up a lot. And then e-commerce without a drone is still 20%. For instance, a fridge, you are not going to deliver that with a drone. You will do that with a van or something else. In terms of revenue, global parcel drone delivery revenue in 2025 is estimated to be 15 billion. And for 2030, it's 115 billion. Drones should accelerate the shift to food delivery. Online food delivery sales grew more than 40% globally in 2020, and drone delivery will account for nearly half of the 40% of food prepared outside of and delivered to the home. We also put this in a graph. On the left, we have global food delivery as a share of food away from home. The purple color is additional share gain with drones, and the black color is food delivery as a percentage of food away from home and that is two percent in 2020 which will increase to 22 percent in 2030 and 19 percent is the additional share gain with drones in 2030 if we switch to revenue on the right we have a global food delivery revenue in 2025 they make an estimation of 18 million and in 2030, they estimate 116 billion. With drones, uh, what's really been holding, held, holding that technology back is regulators, and actually particularly in the US. The FAA has been saying for years now, I mean, over five years, that they wanted to come up with regulations to address drones. Um, and they're really just starting to do that. So the exciting news is Amazon just got this uh, Part 135 approval. It means it can run a drone airline. So what that means is that you and I could get packages delivered to us for less than a dollar, or likely we wouldn't even see that cost. We'd just get our stuff cheaper. Um, and I think this could totally change consumer shopping behavior. So what's the timeline? Do we know what the legislative timeline is going to be? Or who's who wants it, who doesn't want it? Is it like a hard no, or is it an eventuality? So, so I think um, I think it's definitely an eventuality. Um, so, so Amazon just got this approval. So basically, regulate. But previously, they had you know done just certain test flights in specific areas. And by the way, a lot of companies are looking at this. UPS is also aggressively partnering with startups, with drone companies, trying to do drone delivery. Domino's has done a few different types of robotic delivery. So I think this is definitely on the horizon. We've just been waiting for regulation to catch up. I'd say this is the early innings of seeing that that regulation catch up. So Amazon still wants to do a lot of safety and testing you know, before a full uh, scale launch. But you could certainly imagine that there'll be sort of more small pilots happening. For instance, UPS is doing some pilots right now um, on hospital campuses. Uh, they're starting to deliver things like prescriptions with drones. Um, so so I think uh, the exciting thing is, is that we're, we're sort of just on the brink of this. And it's really important that we're seeing US regulator uh, start to say yes to this because these companies have been previously testing their technology abroad. Um, we had seen Amazon go to the UK Okay. Google had gone to Australia to test, um, but now you know that they're getting the green light in their home country. I, I think that's really significant and, and super exciting for you and I as consumers. Sizing the opportunity. While not yet commercialized, Arc estimates that drone delivery platforms will generate nearly 50 billion in revenues, 14 billion in hardware sales, and 3 billion in mapping revenues by 2025. They split it up in three kinds of graphs. On the left, we have delivery revenue. In the middle, we have drone hardware sales. And on the right, we have mapping revenue. They make a distinction between 2025 and 2030 with three different kinds of colors. Purple is parcel drone delivery. Green is food drone delivery. 
and black is air taxi. So we start with left with delivery revenue by 2030. Drone delivery platforms could scale another fourfold, generating 275 billion in revenues. Split it up: 114 for parcel drone, 116 billion food drone delivery, and 44 billion for air taxis. Then for the, for the middle, we have drone hardware sales. Hardware sales will grow another threefold to almost 50 billion in 2030. Half of that is 25 billion that is going to parcel drones. Food drones will take 16 billion and air taxis 8 billion. And lastly, on the right, we have mapping revenue. This will grow another fourfold to 12 billion. 50-50, so 6 billion is going to parcel drones and 6 billion is also going to food drones. It will be an exciting future. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you actually learned something and see you on the next part.